This game is rated E10 for ages 10 and up. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone! KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest F Five Blind. <laughs> I I was Dragon Quest Blind. No, it's number in there. No, there's a. <sighs> okay, give me a second. I got. I I am. I am a bit of a mess right now. Okay. On the last episode. I was a stone statue, Nier was a stone statue, we got sold in some kind of trade thing, I spent eight years as a statue, some guy tried to bust me up because he blamed me for the abduction of his kid, which sucks because we know exactly what happened there, what happened with Harry and us back earlier in the game. But then Sancho, good old buddy Sancho, found us. With our growing kids, Perry and Maddie. And Maddie, using her magic, revived me, and Perry can use the Zenithian sword and the Zenithian shield. And now we have an idea of where to go to find, at least get confirmation about our mom? It seems a little like, like, I get it. We were on the quest to find our mother, and then Nier got pregnant. And then it was like, okay, this is more important right now. But now it's like, go back on the quest to find your mother. I'm like, no, Nira's more important right now. Let's go find Nira. But you know what? I keep forgetting that we have. We have Zoom. We have, we have Zoom. We're not animals here. We have technology. So. I don't know what kind of noise this made, but all right. Uh, first, we could go to the Nick Knackery and start populating that, I guess. North Minster, uh, Minster is uh, the place that, the church area right before the tower that we had turned the stone at. Um, I feel it is only polite to go to Mastra Ferrata right now and uh, talk with the in-laws because it's been a while and I'm worried about them and I'm worried about Nira and I'm worried about a lot of things. So you know your charge. I want a strict watch kip night and day. And if anything happens, don't hang your finishing your cappuccino before I report back to me, capisce? Uh, dad? Not actual dad, but... Dad-in-law? I'm really sorry about, like, literally everything. I bring you grandkids. <gasps> what a surprise, KV, sir! Welcome home! KV, you've come back to visit us. How wonderful it is to see you. The cost is watching over us all. There's one thing you can help me with, KV. My husband has been behaving very oddly ever since he spoke to a traveling merchant who came to town a few days ago. Oh. But he just won't, won't tell me what's bothering him. I'm starting to worry about him. I think I know what that is. Cool. I think we may have already found Nira. Papa! You old scaramouche, why don't you come back? <laughs> no, never mind. There's plenty of time for all that baloney later. Right now, I need you to do me a favor. I can rely on you, I presume. Yes. There's a small island to the west of Stockenbarrel, and that's a village north of here if you... Are you listening? Yes, yeah, Stockenbarrel is where Bianca's from. So anyway, on the small island to the west of the Stockenbarrel, there's an equally small shrine. In fact, I think you went there for me once before, didn't you? I asked you to tell me what color the jar inside was, if you remember. I remember that, yeah. Why well, don't you to go there again and give me another bulletin of what the color it is now? I realize the request might sound a little caviar, but it's really very important. If the jar is red, don't waste any time getting back here. Kavish, you must hurry. I just hope this has all been some total, terrible misunderstanding. Okay. Would you like to meet your grandkids? Okay. That's fair. That's fair. If he's that worried about it, why doesn't he go and see for himself? Is that man my granddad? I wonder if I'll go ball when I'm older too. It's no joke to ask such a thing of someone else. 
I believe the Signor Briscarotti, he is scared to see for himself, no? You're right, Sancho. That's why we should go there. Alright, well, that's our next heading. We're gonna go there. Oh, hello. Please, Kevin, sir, I couldn't help over here Mr. Briscarotti talking to himself before. He said something about a jar, and if it was glowing red, some monster or other would come back to life. He was standing by a bookshelf in the living room. It sounded like he was writing, writing some old diary or the like. I'm worried he's in trouble, you see. You help him, though, won't you, KV? I will. We just talked to him. Alright. Well, team, we have our heading. Is our boat nearby? Yes, it is. In the boat! Not out of the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Before we go check on the thing, let's go check on Stock and Barrel. Just to catch up with an old friend. And to get some of the kids' experience, because they'll need it. Ooh, whoa, those are new. Okay, a hoodlum. Yeah, you know, fizzle. Okay, good to know. What magic do you know? Crack and dazzle. Alright, let's do crack. And then Sancho, my buddy. Uh, just attack. Alright, not a lot of damage, unfortunately. Wow! Wow! Okay. Luckily, I know Zing. Uh, yeah, just keep attacking. Okay, well, it's better to actually... Okay, that, that's, that one's defeated at least. Okay, magic! Zing! Harry, magic on yourself. You don't know healing magic, which is a problem. Um, defend, Sancho, attack them, please. There we go. Wow, jeez. Okay, well, we're just gonna go back at this point. Uh, I'm a little worried now, actually. Yeah, attack. Desperate attack. Oh my god, stop doing that! Okay. Perry and Sancho just... Okay. So Perry can survive, it's just that stupid all-rush attack is really annoying. Okay. So, guess what time it is, Perry? You'll know the amazingness that is Chromio Quest. Sancho with and Saber. Okay, let's go back. Wait, no, there would be a there's gonna be a church at stock and barrel anyways. So hopefully Chromio and Saber in the party will help a little bit here. There we go, yeah, just get rid of them. That way Perry's getting some experience that he desperately needs it, desperately needs. Okay. The party carry KV to church and pray for the gods to resurrect him. Thank you. We also should resurrect Maddie while we're at it. Um, did we do that? Did we do that? We did not. Okay. Good to know. Alright, church. Where is the church here? I thought there was a church here. I think it's in this this area. This house right here. Yep, alright. <sighs> Resurrection. Bring back my daughter, because yikes. Yep. So, maybe it's not a good idea to have them in the party for right now. Maybe we should put Saber back in the party, and Sancho can be our fourth member for right now. I want to use them, obviously, because they're w rare and willing to go, but... Might not be the best idea. At least not yet. So, check on an old friend first. Oops, not off again. That'll never do. Huh? Oh, heavens above, it's you, KV! I haven't seen... Hi, no hair of you for years. Bianca has been never so worried, you know. There's been all sorts of rumors flying about lately, too. 
Hey! Who are them kitties with you? Crikey, yours are they? Now that's a turn up. I do look awful like you, come to think of it. Well, well. So now you're a father, KB. That makes me feel ever so old. No, oh, it's such hard work learning how to run an inn. Of all the luck being born the son of an innkeeper. At least I get to see Bianca, mind you. <laughs> hey, Bianca. KV, thank goodness you're safe. I was wondering what would be coming to you after all these years not showing your face. You had a bit of a tough time of it, eh? You really are so grown big and strong, though. You were no use to... You were no use to man or beast that time when we went off go- Oh. All of them years ago? I'm sure you have plenty now to take some of Pancras dream of reality. Kids, this is your Auntie Bianca. And we are not going to pull a How I Met Your Mother. Because the ending of How I Met Your Mother was terrible. What is... What's that guy? What's he doing? What's he doing there? Gonna go back here. Hello. I did find you. Okay. Well, now we're gonna beat you up, I guess. A merry man. Oh, man, he's in the party automatically? Alright. Crack snooze. I did it. Everyone's asleep except me. Hooray! Okay. I'm asleep now. Everyone's sleeping now. Okay, Maddie's up. Okay. I, w I woke up. Here's crack. Okay. Attack. No. Pair does 15 damage, Sancho's asleep. Attack, magic, crack. Sancho wakes up. Magic. And then falling asleep again, yay! There we go. Defeated. Okay, so we leveled up. Pair at level 6. That's great. Alright, attributes. Can you use the strength? Need resilience, though, Perry. Mini metal. Hooray. Look at you this wall these days. Okay, bye. What's in this chest? A silk bustier. Uh, Perry, that's not for you. <laughs> you can have that when you're older. And by older, I mean never. This is for your sister. So can I... Where's the inn I can stay at then here? Because... Uh... Yeah. We'll go to the inn. And we'll heal up. Good idea. Inn. 56. That's pretty good. I'll check the uh, armory as well, just to see if there's anything better we can get for... I mean, a Zenithian sword not going to beat that, I'm sure. But, let's see. Sledgehammer, that's the best we can have for Sancho right now. Uh, nope. Nope! Oh, Colory Sword's as good as Zenithian sword? Interesting. Okay, now we'll leave, and now we'll go check the thing. Yeah, but I honestly feel like... Well, if we get into a battle of the sea, you can't help that now, can I? Crack. Ah, crackle. Swoosh. Wow. These things are speedy as heck. Okay, full heal, Maddie. Attack. Attack. And 
Addy, let's do a Dazzle if we can. Nope, you're gonna die again. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. I don't like this at all. Just go, stop doing that. Go away. Get out of here. My goodness gracious. That was a... Uh, this is the classic SNE... This is the classic NES era what's spike difficulty for no reason that I absolutely detest. Uh. Granted, Nira... Er, yeah, Nira. Perry and... Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to do this. I don't... No, no, no. no uh... Oof. Not sure why the heck not. I can just go and go over to that file at this point. Okay, and then we'll continue. Okay. We got this. It's fine. It's fine. Anyways, Perry and Maddie are very low level, so that's understandable, but still. Even I was having some trouble with those guys. And what I'm talking about when I say, like, the classic NES-era spike, Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, I think even Tales of Fantasia, they all have it where basically when you get into the last stretch of the game, it just goes, eh, and now all the enemies are, like, super powerful for no apparent reason. And it, it, it doesn't feel earned. It just feels like... Yes, I intend to continue my adventure. It doesn't feel earned. It doesn't feel like a natural progression. And I... I absolutely hate that. The worst RPGs are the ones that just go, eh, now everything is 20 levels higher than you. And it's just like, there's no reason for it. It's just artificial difficulty. And it's so bad. Final Fantasy VI, of the ones I've played at least from the SNES, is the worst offender of this. Like, Final Fantasy VI is great until you get to the world of chaos, and then that's just a pain in the butt. I hate that. I'm sorry, but like, there is no excuse for why they did that. This game technically came out before Final Fantasy VI, so I'm hoping that it would be nice to not do that. But we'll have to see. So, we'll reorganize our lineup. I think we'll keep Sancho in the party, just for the heck of it. But we will put Chromio and Saber back in, because they'll be helpful. Misk, uh, lineup, me, Sancho, Chromio, Saber. Because Maddie and Perry are still going to get experience, so that, that won't matter. So let's see how this goes now. Because, yeah, those guys are powerful. Okay, yeah, that, we got rid of one of them. I don't even know how much damage Saber took. Okay, I can sand my eyes. Great. Good. Good. Okay, yep. So, yeah, that helps a lot. So, okay, good. There's a point to getting the monsters, and I'm glad we have them. And hopefully that should be Maddie leveling up now, so we can get them up to up to speed. And Saber leveling up, that's good, too. So, okay. Okay, so this probably won't be as bad as Final Fantasy VI. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. Resilience plus two. Thank you. You need that. Agility plus two. Luck plus three. Good, good, good. Okay. On the road again. Or on the sea again. To be back on the road to go to the dangerous pot place. Alright. Here we go. There's the staircase. And I guess it's going to show the kids in, the, in our party when we're like in any public area. If that makes sense. It is red. That's not good. It's very unsettling experience. Yes, okay. Well, let's get back to Mr. Briscolotti right away. Get back to Pawn Law. Didn't ask about his daughter, which uh, concerns me. Oh, we don't have Gudian with us. Ah, Gudian usually is helpful. Ah, well. 
We'll just have to make do without Gudian for right now. Okay, back on the boat. Do, 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 do. Going down the sea, the river, bend, whatever. Back to Master Ferrato. KV, have you seen Mr. Scaletti? He is waiting for you at the La Guardia. Where the heck is that? Um, yeah. Can you bring. Tell me that again? La Guardia. Um. Uh, where is that? <laughs> it's great and all that he's there, but where is that? Uh, yeah? In the living room. Okay, bookshelf in the living room. Is he still upstairs, I guess? Take it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's not the living room. That's the other living room. Uh, he was here. Was he not? Am I going crazy? Okay, that's the balcony. Hi, Sancho. <laughs> hey, Deborah, how's it going? Aren't I married? Oh, wow. Like, you're at the moment, really, Dima. Okay, wow. You know, I'm. I don't like you. I'm sorry. You know, my sister-in-law, but I don't like you. Uh, okay. So, is he back at the... His, uh... Is this LaGuardia? Um. Hi. It's Crispin. Feels like years and years since I last saw you. Yeah, we didn't, like, really know you that much. Always talking about you, though. You made a big impression back then. Oh, yes, yeah, should I, shouldn't I? This is my wife, Ashley. Hello, Gabby. It's such a pleasure to meet you at last. My husband has told me so much about you. <laughs> Ashley used to be a famous dancer, you know, amongst other things. The way she moves is hypnotic, and she does the most amazing. Oh, dear, so I get a bit carried away sometimes, but that's hardly appropriate conversation now. Actually, there's something bothering me at the moment. You might be able to help with it. It's Mr. Briscoletti. He's been behaving re really strangely. I know he's behaving strangely. I'm trying to find him. He's always on edge. He never seems to be able to relax anymore. Perhaps you could find out what's bothering him and maybe help him get over it. Okay. Where's the Guardia? Also, wasn't that my house for Nira and I? Eh, yeah, whatever. He can, he can have it. I don't care. Um, is LaGuardia here? The bar? No. Okay. Where is LaGuardia? You can't just tell me he's at LaGuardia and then be like, oh, well, you know, let's go there. Can I zoom there? Can I zoom there? Am I, am I just being, like, am I overthinking this? Zoom. No. I cannot just zoom there. Where the heck is LaGuardia? Do you know where LaGuardia is? Okay. No. Do you know where LaGuardia is? Okay, yeah, yeah, I can thank you. Yeah, I know, it did feel like it was just yesterday. Okay. <sighs> Go to this place. Okay. Where is this place? Eh. Anyways, kids, this is what we do. We go into wells when we feel like it. Don't worry, Sancho approves of it. Get, get up, get up, get up the rope. <laughs> get up the rope! Is that name of his ship? No, that's not what I want to do. No, that's not what I want to do either. Mm 
zoom. We can't zoom there. That's the problem. Okay, so then... Uh, I guess going to Helmantrap is probably the quickest way to get there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Let's zoom to there. Yeah. Hey, Maddie, can you mind zooming us to Helmantrapa? Whee! We're not gonna go in... Maybe we should go in there. I don't... No, let's focus on one thing right now. Gonna go crazy if we keep just going everywhere around. Okay, bye-bye. Experience, yay! Maddie level up, Perry level up, that's fine. Alright, strength plus three, agility plus one, resilience plus... Okay, good, good, I like it. Okay, here's our ship. You know, Val first! Oh, guess what time it is! King Slime time! Yeah, don't... Yeah, whatever. We know you're just gonna make the King Slime. Oh, my golly. Okay, bye. Or they don't make it. Okay, that's fine, too. Oh, Nick Knackery probably would have been the closest place to go. But, uh... What's the sign? Yeah, it's, it's up here, then. Wouldn't have been that much of a difference in terms of travel. A Poltargeist! Ah, yes, my, my favorite type of ghost, the Poltargeist! Alright, get rid of these guys fast, because... Okay! Yeah, wow. These guys are dangerous. Very dangerous. Saber's dead. Uh, who did that? Oh! Oh, right! We gave, we gave the Kamikaze Bracer to Saber. That's what happens. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, we got experience at least. Uh, Perry's level 8. Yay! Yay! Kabuff! Yay! Maddie's level 7. Okay, that's really good. Alright. Magic, can I... Zing? Why can't Zing be constant? There we go. Okay. Heal, Saber... Heal myself and heal Sancho. Okay, if we can just make it to the island right there. Here we go. Really? Come on, game. All right, whatever. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. They're gone. Yay! Okay. So, Lagardia, is the name of the ship, is it not? No, that's that's the Venturo. Where the heck's Lagardia? Ah. Well, you know what? We're gonna end the episode off here. This risk of is like, hey, go check this. Okay, it's bad. Come back to me. But he's not there, so, you know, that's just dandy. Okay, then. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. Hitting the subscribe would be great, too, if you want to. Don't have to, but it would be much appreciated. If you like what you see as far as the game goes, Dragon Quest V is available on quite a few different systems. This is the Nintendo DS version. Apparently, this area wasn't in the original Super Famicom version, so that's interesting. But a lot of Dragon Quest games are pretty Gosh dang awesome, so I highly recommend picking up any of them. Including this one, which has been really good except for the last episode where everything was, like, really sad. 
But now, maybe we'll get things to be glad again. We'll find out! Most importantly, though, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao!